Hey everyone. So today we are going to do a another rank one clear for Giorgiorno, <laughs> um, the cap of unknown origin in the current Clash of Worlds. Now this video, it will be the exact same clear that you could have seen if you watched my live stream yesterday. So there isn't much that I changed with one exception. And that exception is going to be that we will be able to definitely fill um, Esther's LB gauge enough such that we can use Storm Guardian on turn three. But let's check it out how that works. There's the team. I'll show the gear once we're done. So let's get this started. We are bursting on turn six and eight. So two bursts, two full bursts even. Um, one is good higher though. All right. So let's get started. Um, the boss preemptive strikes and the, the, the issue with the bosses, oh, I'll get this right out of the way, that while you cannot remove the defense and spirit break unless you use Kaito's Grandis, um, you can remove the attack and magic break. However, uh, the boss reapplies these uh, buffs each turn, first action. So even if you remove them, it doesn't affect the flow of the fight because the boss will always hit you at full power, meaning with 75% increased attack and magic. That is an issue. However, we have Esther tanking throughout. If you don't have Esther, you can use Ronda. Since I use this Ronda to great effect, um, Ronda performs very well, but Esther does so too. And Esther can technically chip in more damage. And that's why I'm using Esther. I don't have my Ronda uh, enhanced at all. She's still EX0 for that matter. Okay, so Esther, when she is wearing her Trustmaster passive, she has 20 LB crystals right away. So what we'll start, we will stand stance with Esther every time because in base form, she is geared for lots of LB fill rate. So one LB crystal is going to be enough. Now, Sukiko on turn one, uh, she can or she has to do Maiden's Consecration. It's a five turn element Im imbue. It is also uh, a um, buff and technically we don't have to. It's just nice. Um, we will have our amp anyway through Sylvie, which is okay too, but we need this to do elemental damage to the boss. So let's do this. It's also 350 morale, so that's always good to see. Um, next action we will use is um, Blessed uh, Omamori, which um, is a consecutive buff, 500 buff, but consecutive morale restoration for the, for the duration of the buff, 500 morale each turn, Rod in Peril, um, Earth in Peril, etc., etc. And we use Prey of Purification, it removes resistance, debuffs, uh, stops charm, etc. So, the good stuff, basically. So, let's start this off. Sky on turn is going to shift and get one of her stacks. The boss does very little AoE damage, and when he does, Sky is not in danger. So, let's get Sky's buff up, our stack. Chizuru is going to Eastern Winds. Uh, to staunch a samurai instead of strong samurai. Um, uh, no, not instead of, but uh, instead of breezy barrier. We don't need a breezy barrier. It is nice to have, but we just removed all the stuff. So we can use staunch samurai. Spirit. Kaito is going to swelling current, which is typed mitigation for exactly demon and fairy. Um, and we'll do cascading and Tranquil Flow. We have it. Um, Esther gains at least one crystal, and that'll be enough. She did. So we are absolutely Gucci, Tamaguchi even, and if that weren't to happen, you can always use Paladin's Defense, which is another 10, meaning she will always need one LB crystal, no matter what you do, but that one, that's likely to happen. We don't need to, so we can use Compassionate Knight, Elemental Vines, and Elemental Petals on uh, Sylvie. And now shift Esther back to her Brave Shift, and we'll use Electromagnetic Shield, 
um, for the physical reduction, 75%. Uh, uh, most likely, or oh, most importantly for the stat buff, 350 de defense, and boundless stasis. That's a 75% general mitigation. And the way you can see that this is general mitigation, it has this slash over here. If it says it below in the same line, it's general mitigation. If it's uh, listed down below as separate, it's the uh, individual ones, like it's doing here. This is definitely, this is also... Um, uh, general mitigation 90% and 75%. Um, I, I believe she has physical mitigation somewhere over here. It's Storm Defender, right? No. I'll show you on Sylvie next turn. But yeah, we're doing Boundless Stasis and Energizing Bunny to refill some of it. Okay, so we, as you can see, morale is super safe on this turn. Alright, so the boss on this turn... Um, uses some stuff um, we don't really care about. We do have uh, five stacks of Mirage on Esther from a Boundless Stasis, and as you can see, the damage, totally negligible. negligible. We are uh, in peril though. Better in peril is kind of whatever. We'll get rid of it. We can get rid of it anyway. Okay, so we'll have to shift back to base. Always dance dancing. Sky back to base. Uh, Sukiko is going to pray, pray of purification, prayer of protection for magic mitigation. And this is where, it, where you can see the difference between the two. This is straight up magic mitigation. And this is, like I said, general mitigation. We need the magic mitigation, or we don't technically need it, but it's cool for the morale uh, anyway. And we'll do Purging Mandala Earth, which is a 40% Earth Peril field that lasts 15 turns. Crazy good. Chizuru is going to um, Eastern Winds, Breezy Barrier, and there is no other option that we could use right now. Uh, you have the opportunity to use Physical Mitigation. 85% Physical Mitigation for... Uh, two turns. I'm not gonna use it. Esther doesn't need it, so I'll just press Breezy Barrier yet again. Kaito is going to shift now. And we'll do t uh, triple crashing waves. We'll do destabilizing form and deep submersion. Basically for higher breaks on the boss, because the next three turns, they will hurt. So we do want to minimize damage taken. On turn two, or I should say on turns two and five, most importantly, the boss will do Green Envy. Green Envy is a fixed magic-based dot on the party. And the the huge issue here is you A, need very high bulk. You don't really have that, so you need general mitigation. That first dot tick happens on turn three. This is where Esther's mitigation buff will come into play. But for now, let's use Sylvie. She is going to Paladin, uh, not Paladin 3, but Compassionate Knight again. So she will repeat, basically. So Sylvie has that physical mitigation, as you can see, 75% amongst other things. And because my sky is not fit for this fight particularly, in terms of bulk, we will just dodge the dot by having Sky just jump. She gets out of here and she won't be affected by this dot at all. Esther now brave shifts and um, we are going to Boundless Stasis and Double Shadow Bolt with her. Just so we have five more Starage. Okay, so here it is, uh, Sexy Pose, Green with Envy, and yeah, we now are dotted up. So it's going to be a tiny, minuscule annoyance, but we'll handle it. Esther taking some respectable damage, but she's totally fine. So first things first, we're going to land Sky here, because we need the buffs on her, obviously. We're shifting back uh, for LB film and now Sukiko uh, she is going to just triple prayer of purification 
for morale film. We need, or ideally, we want to be close or at 200% by the end of this turn. And that's going to be fine. So what we're also going to do is, because this damage is magic based and we are going to get hit by magic for the next few turns, we are using Chizuru's Focused Spirit. 85% big boy magic mitigation. We'll do Breezy Barrier and Eastern Winds. Kaito shifts back to base and he has Man of Few Words. Man of Few Words is a 90% general mitigation for himself, which is huge and you should use this on this turn. Uh, he will use Receding Tide, which is a 100% water buff. Very good, very potent. We need that as well. And we'll do a downpour for... Uh, are we? No, not yet. We're going to use Tranquil Flow. Sorry. Sylvie on this turn is going to Paladin's Resolve. That's a heal. It's a minor heal, but it's enough for the time being. We'll do Compassionate Knight and we'll do, I don't know, uh, Vines. You can choose between the two. So let's see if one of the very few pixels lands on Esther. It did not. That's fine though. So we're shifting Esther here. And we'll do triple Storm Guardian and double Shadow Bolt. And now we do have our high mitigation up on the party. Morale, not quite at 200%, but very close. And as you can see, everybody took huge damage. Well, Sky didn't, but that's fine. We are completely resisting the wind and water damage. Yeah, everybody super fine. Esther taking absolutely minimal damage too, which is very good. All right, so we need to kind of heal up a little bit. Uh, rest assured though, we will still proc Guts, but it's easier if you proc it that way. Let's heal up with um, Shizuru. We'll shift back Esther here. Now the issue with um, Sukiko is she can't use anything in base if you if your uh, Esper gauge is empty. That's unfortunate, but so be it. Sky is going to shift and get a second stack of a limit burst. Kaito um, on turn four, he is going to do pure liquid infusion. We need this because the boss is going to do some heavy water damage in the upcoming turns and we want to absorb it. Um, we are also going to do torrential downpour on this turn and we'll do tranquil flow. And Sylvie is going to break shift and it's important that you do this in the correct order. So Sylvie is going to Im remove the water uh, uh, imbue and do earth instead. We will follow this up by using Let's see, do we need more morale fill? No, not particularly. So we'll do, actually I'm, I am going to, we'll do Cheerful Paladin Strike. And you have the choice of using either, either this one, Paladin's Defense. We need to, because we are super safe. So I'll do Clever Paladin Strike. But first things first, let's do Kaito first. Okay, and let's remove our Kaito's uh, imbue and do our earth stuff. Okay, so Sukiko should be able to use prayer three times, which is perfect. So we are also getting rid of all the debuffs. Esther can shift. And on this turn, we can do boundless stasis Shatterbolt and Quantum Storm onto herself. She doesn't need to, but it's easier to do so. Actually, she has to. She has to for turn six because we cannot unshift her. So there's the second Guts on Sukiko, and she should be fine uh, in terms of HP. Yeah, she is perfect. And that's why we we'll use the heal on the prior turn with Sylvie. Okay, now the debuff is gone. So turn five is a super safe turn. Sylvie also chips in with some healing from counters. 
which is very, very good. And yeah, so let's shift back Sky. Sky on this turn is going to Sharp Spear and double Skyfall. Um, Sukiko is going to triple Purification. And um, technically speaking, turn five is an ideal turn to use Magic Boost Plus on Sukiko. I unequipped this, uh, but knowing what what works and what doesn't work, I could have her on um, Magic Boost Plus. This would work, and she will definitely more damage that way. So let's do Sky and uh, Sukiko first here. I should unshift Esther always. Now we go. Uh, Chizuru on this turn is going to just do Eastern Winds, Breezy Barrier, and let's help out Esther one tiny bit with Focused Body. Kaito, or Sylvie, is just going to Limit Burst. We are 200% morale. And Kaito is going to shift. We are super safe now that. We'll use Tidal Edge, and we are going to use Deadly Stream, Natural Flux, and um, Torrential Downpour. Let's see if we have some Crystal Drops on Esther. We don't, that's fine. We don't need them for the time being. So, because we don't have anything particularly productive to do, we can just guard. That way she takes less damage. Okay. The boss stat breaks us here, which is totally fine. Esther taking, like I mentioned, minimal damage. It's all good. But now everybody has the dot, but we have a plan for that. All right, now it's time to burst. So let's wait all of this out. Sky is going to limit burst in base form. Yes, base form because we don't have many chainers on this party. Um, Esther is going to use the, um, the, what's it called, the Quantum Storm ability, Chain Lightning. Kaito is going to Brave Shift Limit Burst, that way we have four uh, Extreme Nova Chainers. And Sukiko is going to Shift and Brave uh, Limit Burst as well. But first, we need to unshift Sylvie, and she is going to triple a Compassionate Knight, Burgeoning Defense, because we need that 85% general mitigation uh, badly, and um, we will also do magic mitigation 75% um, uh, here, because we got re that removed. When the boss uh, does all the things, it removes our um, buffs or our resistance buffs, so we definitely have to reapply those. So let's do that first before we deal damage. And we will also do uh, Renouncing Will, and we'll do Resounding Will. Okay, so the way this goes basically is we start with the right hand side, those are uh, all perfectly chain, and then we'll send in Kaito and Chizuru last. Okay, so let's send and send. And that's should be a very that should be a very comfortable cap. 1.6 on um oh that's going to be lows one 2.7 that's that's a really low variance roll on sukiko on my live stream yesterday we did 3.1 billion we had 2.7 on our second burst so that was kind of disappointing honestly okay so we are bursting next turn we are going to redo all our actions so sukiko is going to maiden's consecration earth everybody's in Imbued, Blessed Omamori, and Prayer of Purification. Sky is going to tie with a spirit on this turn. Esther, uh, let's wait out for Esther. Chizuru is going to Devastating Samurai Slash, which is kind of... Actually, could I get away with... This doesn't fill out big edge. I'd love to do this, the 75% general... We don't need to, we have 85 from Sylvie. So we're using Devastating Samurai Slash. Kaito is going to shift back to base. And we will do Pure Liquid Infusion yet again. 
will refresh down per and do tranquil flow. Sylvie is going to do shift and she is going to uh, remove the water imbue and do Marin's Blessing Earth. We'll do poached demon on sky and we are going to do let's see a uh, clever paladin strike that should be the lb for the right yes it is so let's do chizuru let's do Kaido. i should have unshifted esther now it's too late oh yeah this would have been full lb gauge oh well let's unshift her So let's remove it. Let's do some stuff. Ah, oh, we got we got a decent chunk of LB gauge on Esther. Perfect. And we are going to triple boundless stasis, shadow bolt, and energizing. And we should technically be safe here. Absolutely safe. So now the boss is going to do some more uh, magic damage. Vento Popper Pulse. We, we are um, absorbing the water thing, so we are very safe. Some more uh, general stabs or magic, non-elemental magic attacks, but we have enough bulk for that. Esther taking some huge hits. Please don't die. She is dead. But we don't need her, luckily. That's the, that's, that, that's the good news here. Actually, we do need her. We needed Esther for this, and I don't know why she died. She had all the strong mitigation, though. Huh. Anyway. We'll be fine. So, um, what we'll do is I've got your back on um, Sukiko. Esther really should not have died here. Oh, well. We are going to also do a gravel egg do we need to no we don't technically i'm just checking if i can yeah it's totally fine why, why am i even worrying about this uh clever paladin strike yeah worried for nothing okay so yeah, 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 it works, it works. Okay, so we're shifting. She needs to Brave Shift Limit first. We need every speck of damage for this. Um, Sukiko shifts. And um, Chizuru LBs as well. Now, first things first, though, we need to get rid of the defense and spirit buffs. So Kaito is going to shift. And we will do what we do best, Unpredictable Tide, remove all of that. We'll do Deadly Stream and Natural Flux. And now we remove all the stuff. We have the perfect Imperils on the boss. We got everything we need and we are going to cap right now. And what I see is that I, what I don't like is that we're not on max morale. So we'll deal a little bit less damage than I hope for, but it should still be enough. So let's send in her send her in and let's pray that it is enough yeah it's fine okay so we're still capped easy well easy ex plus three uh we and we did exactly the same amount of damage or about the same damage i'm kind of mauled that i wasn't at 200 percent morale here and i don't understand why esther died but it's fine we are still Full damage, uh, full full score, all good. Not the best run I've had, especially considering Esther died at the end. But oh well, we still cast out very comfortably, so even. So let's check out the gear, uh, modifiers. Okay, so Sylvie. Oh yeah, I know why Esther died. She had no physical mitigation. I should have done this with Sylvie, whoopsie. That's the reason. I'll fix this on my turn chart. The turn chart is going to be later today. 
So everybody needs some form. I, I settled for 50% and more uh, water and uh, earth, uh, water and wind resistance. That's enough. So Sylvie has guts, multiple sources. She doesn't need to though. Um, and yeah, her own card, same gearing and brave shift. In brave shift, she's also using blizzard up for counters. And that's it pretty much. Uh, Kaito is dual wielding with works card in both forms. We don't need his damage. Uh, lots of HP and bulk as you can see. Well, only 1000 spirit, but it was enough. He has good mitigation anyway. And he has uh, two sources of guts from Ferocious Fury and Oraba's Boon. And Brave Shift is pretty much geared identically, just very minor differences. One um, Guts, he doesn't need the Guts though, he has very high mitigation himself. Chizuru, dual wielding in base form for lots of spirit, that's why she survived that comfortably. <clears throat> Here's the source of guts and there's two more, so she has three sources of guts and if I did see correctly, we needed all three of them. So make sure you have three on Chizuru. Brave Shift is full glass cannon build. Uh, there is no guts or anything. We are totally banking on the general mitigation from Sylvie on this one. And uh, Knights of Grandchild card. She sports uh, 300 Demon, 275 Fairy and 300 LB. Next up, Esther, base form, lots of LB fill. As you can see, Eye of the Dragon, that was what she was supposed to do on the final turn. She died, sadly, so I couldn't show this off. But this was, or Eye of the Dragon, the, the extreme Nova frames that she would have gotten, that's what she would have done if she were alive. But I was dumb and I forgot the physical mitigation on her. And in Brave Shift, that's what she's using. Spirit-based uh, stuff, lots of good things. Um, uh, not spirit based, but defense based, sorry. And yeah, looking mighty fine. She's, n or is she full evasion? She's not full evasion, doesn't even matter. We have minus 100 evasion on us, so <laughs> yeah. And Sky, Sky's base form, bulk uh, to the max. Uh, she's using her TMR because that has her absorbing wind naturally, which is really cool. Otherwise, uh, or, or else she has uh, Lucid Lenses, Orba Spoon, Double Guts. She doesn't need to though, as you've seen. Tavis' Spirit, and she's also a Knights of Grandchild card. And Brave Shift um, retains Nomad's Headgear, has at least one source of Guts. Yeah, one source of Guts. And uh, yeah. The Sword of Die is for a Demon Killer. So she has three on a Demon, 150 Fairy, a little bit low on that but I uh, don't need that much killers. The cap was still comfortable, even though it didn't appear to be. Trust me, I had, had multiple clears at 3 billion on my live stream yesterday. And lastly, Sukiko, Empress Rod, uh, lots of guts. She has four sources of guts. So there's three, Lucid Lances, Chocobo Feather, Midsummer Birder, Divine Intervention, that's four sources of guts. She didn't need four, but I wanted to go the safe route. 2,800 spirit, the necessary resistances here. But the Brave Shift, that's full damage with the tiny exception of Chocobo Feather. I didn't need to, I could have given her um, magic boost in that case. So yeah, the X plus three does need 6x cap. She has that naturally, demon, a demon card, and she has maxed out stats. And yeah, that's the very expensive, but rather safe, clear for the cup of unknown origin, Giorgiorno. So, yeah, we're done. Thank you all for watching. I'll do a farming guide later tomorrow and uh, another clear with Tsukiko for the plant boss, uh, the trial boss, Raflasia. So, see you then. Bye bye.